What is motivational interviewing? I mean, it's a way of having a conversation about change that listens to and calls forth the person's own ideas about whether to do that and why to do it. One of the fastest ways that you can burn out as a therapist is being convinced that your job is to tell people to change when they're convinced not to. The perspective is different. You adopt a different style from solving problems for people to encouraging them to solve them for themselves. And that's what motivational interviewing is focused on. MI came about with an act of humility. When Bill Miller asked himself the question, how come these people are resisting change when I talk to them about it? And critically and positively, what is it that helps people talk about change more comfortably? This is where you'll see the emphasis on change talk in MI and exploring a person's own values and their own goals as a way of bringing forward change talk. We now know that change talk and sustained talk do matter and that how much of that you get depends on what you do in the session. Therapists can arrange the conversation so that clients do make the arguments for change and don't just keep coming back with all the reasons why they can't do it and why it's not important. So practitioners and counselors and therapists have an enormous amount of freedom and power. And we're saying that with curiosity and the interest of the person at heart, take that chance, invite them to consider change, hear the change talk and respond appropriately. This is a good way of being with people that helps people to be less defensive, less resistive, and more able to think about how to make changes and move in that direction.